got it. <clears throat> oh goodness, I sneezed on myself before I started recording and... Goodness. Um, anyways, so hello everybody! Um, this is a new game that just came out today and it looks super cute so I was like, I want this. So I got it. <laughs> um... I have only seen like very little gameplay of this, so uh, I'm kind of going in blind for the most part. I mean, like I said, I've seen a little bit of gameplay, but you know, learning how to play a game or like learning anything about a game kind of requires paying attention, and uh, I ain't so good at that. So, <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and start. And in case you're wondering, it's just Deco today. Um, so we're still the Deco and Crazy show, but sometimes Crazy's gonna do his own thing, and sometimes a Deco's gonna do her own thing. You know what I mean? Mind? Oh, I don't customize my character. Oh. Oh wait, I do customize. Oh. Huh. It's, like, nothing to do with racism. I just personally like to be really pale. Um. Without freckles. Because in reality, I'm a ginger with no soul. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um. But yeah, I have really pale skin with freckles and red spots. I really hope nothing crazy is going on. I can feel the floor vibrating, but I can't hear. Because I have my headset on. Alrighty, when a spirit scout comes of age, they start to become more than labels they've lived within. Oh, I love that I can have purple eyes. I also brought, bought this game for red. Mm. <laughs> uh, I don't know if he'll end up recording it at all, but I bought it for him because I was like, you like cute games too. <laughs> The spirit scout's eyes are a peculiarly unnatural pale shade. They see beyond. Ooh. I'm. This is not a pale shade. <laughs> oh, I really love the fact that I can have purple eyes. <gasps> and I can be a ginger. Oh, this is such a cute little hairstyle. What is this? Oh, that's adorable, but just not in, not in red. I don't think. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think it looks okay in red? This is actually closer to what my actual hairstyle looks like. Like, I mean, I'm shaved like this, but my hair is long, so it looks more like this. Mm. Maybe I'll do... Maybe, why was it looking black? Oops, I clicked on the wrong one. Oh, it's super cute. I'll do brown. Uh, everyone thinks you are cool. Wait, does it change? Oh, yeah. Oh my god, I'm adorable. Alright, now it's time to begin your family trip. You open the letter you carried from the rowboat. It says, Dear Spirit Scout, welcome to the island of Cozy Grove. Utilities and other public services are not available on the island yet, so please check your provisions. Rangers from the mainland rarely visit the island. You will need to be self-sufficient. Note that previous campers have reported run-ins with bears in the area, so use caution. Have fun and keep your fire burning. Scouting services. Spirit Scout model. All those who are lost deserve kindness. All right. Uh, 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 oh, <laughs> I guess it's a. How do I check this? Wait, F. Oh. Can I? I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I don't check provisions that way. Can I? Okay. <laughs> I 
How old are those starter log scout? They taste like a century at least. So where have you brought us this time? Um, haunted bear infested island. Some place called Cozy Grove. I'm a little bit disoriented. I'm not quite sure. Well, I know where we are. A haunted bear infested island indeed. An island of bears, you say? The handbook speaks of one such place. Cozy Grove. I sense dozens of wounded, restless spirits here, desperate for help, but not conscious of it. Ooh, excuse me, I, I'm not really good at doing voices. <laughs> also, I'm still getting over a cold. I think I don't know if it's a cold or if it's allergies. Who knows? Um. Anyways, this doesn't seem like the sort of place young spirit scouts typically go for their first solitary excursion. This is exactly where I would fucking go. Fuck people. Ah, oh, well, if you were sent here, the scouts must have been confident you'd be up to the task. Are you ready to see what's out there beyond my firelight? Uh, yeah, let's go. I see ghosts of a ranger at the edge of the wood. She's been waiting for a long, long time. Don't be scared, scout. Go and introduce yourself. After all, you're here to help. Can I open it first? Oh, excuse me. Oh my god. Darn. Oh my god. Huh, another imaginary camper. Must have brewed my Lady Grey a little strong this morning. And let's say, you're not a real living person, are you? Uh, well, I mean, yeah, guilty as charged. <laughs> I haven't heard news this exciting since the baby warblers hatched. Aw. Welcome to Camp Cozy Grove. I'm Charlotte, your local ranger. Also a ghost. Oh my god, fantastic. If you run into any problems, I'm your bear. Ah, oh, I love this game. Say, that uniform of yours, it looks familiar. Oh my, you're a spirit scout. It does change the forecast a bit. Puts the sun behind the clouds, so to speak. Uh, I mean, what are you thinking, Spirit Scouts? You're not the first spirit, 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 <laughs> spirit scout to visit this island. Many years ago, another ambitious youngster summoned a fire here in hopes of earning her final merit badge. Oh. It did not go as planned. No use dwelling on the past, though, is there? You're here now, friend. She's not. Oh, sad day. If you're planning to stay the night, remember the first rule of the wilderness survival. Keep warm. Somewhere around here is a wood log. Find it and toss it on the fire. That should make things a little cozier for both of us. Dude, I'm cold right now. Uh, is it gonna be easy to find? Like, uh, 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 uh. is that what's on my little pallet thing? Oh, that's my bed. I am so sorry if this is clunky. Oh, oh my god, it's right there. I'm not blind, I swear. Oh, hi. Here you are for you. Oh. This is spirit wood! Where did you get this? Uh, I don't know, a ghost told me about it. <laughs> well, first of all, thank you. It's delicious fire after my own heart. <laughs> but the presence of spirit wood confirms my suspicions. The haunted haunting of Cozy Grove runs deep. There are many lost souls here in need of your help. You know what? I'm cool with that. <laughs> and they can't rest until someone has helped them come to terms with their past lives. They may not even remember who they are or how they died, if enough time has elapsed since they passed away. 
아, 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 어, that spirit wood has, has fully caught fire now. My light is expanding. More of the island is waking. Lost places are being remembered. I see someone new. A crafter of useful things. Um, handy. Say, that's a nice fire you have going. Still a bit small though, huh? See if you can find more spirit wood out there. A little warmth could do this island some good. Okay, so I think this game, and I'm, I'm sorry, I know I'm interrupting the dialogue. Um, I think this game runs on normal time? So the fact that I'm playing it at night, I don't know if like some features are going to be cut off for me or if it's going to ultimately end up mattering. I hope not. Because I'm probably only going to be able to play at night and record at night. Um, a healthy fire is sure to call some distant campers home. Story in advance. collect those coins oh god I this is also part of why I haven't been recording lately because my whole body is just the embodiment of allergies and suffering right now <laughs> Sake. um but yeah I probably sound not so good right now oh a kite oh I can't do anything with it you know, though, like, this is, like, literally my dream job right here, is doing this stuff, like, just helping, like, ghosts and shit. It's my dream job. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot how adorable he was. Oh, I love his little head. Oh, I guess you can see me. So sorry, I figured I'd be invisible. Um, apology accepted? Sorry for what? <laughs> for haunting a perfectly good island. Um, okay, listen. Ghosts, haunt wherever the heck you like. It builds, it, it adds character. <laughs> All right. Uh, for haunting a perfectly good island. The last thing I want is to drift around the afterlife glowing blue, getting in the way of upstanding folk like yourself. It's unseemly. Oh. Until I find out why... I'm stuck here. I'm afraid I'll be haunting us both. You know what? That's cool with me because you're adorable. Maybe I can make it up to you, make your buddy. Not to brag, but I'm pretty handy as ghosts go. Bring me three branches, okay? And I promise I'll make it worth your while. <laughs> Not okay. <laughs> um... So do I find these branches? Can I shake trees? Like, hello? Hello? Oh my god, this rock has like faces on it. Creepy. I wonder how many, so many things died here. I mean, I'm sure we'll find out as like the story progresses and stuff, but like, just think about it for a second. Like, did, like, was there a serial killer just going around murdering everything? Oh my god. I feel like oh, what's that? No, it's water. I feel like some of y'all have already played this game and you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, that stuff was so easy to find. What took you so long? Um the the fact that it's not easy for me. I don't have very good eyesight and can I can I do anything that's tree? And, and what's what's easy for other people, especially when it comes to, like, visual games and finding things, what's easy for other people is not easy for me. <laughs> I wish it was because I, I'm sure it would be a lot less frustrating for all of us. Uh, I, I already know for a fact I'm going to struggle with this game. There's a box. I don't even know what I can and can't interact with. 
Oh, oh my gosh, there's a stick right there. Oh my goodness. So is he gonna give me a spirit log? If I give him these? Hi. Look at those sticks, what beauties. The twist here, a scoop there, and voila! You know, horse shovel. Not my finest work. My paws kept slipping through the whole... I'm just gonna admit now, I'm an uncultured swine. An illiterate uncultured swine, and I don't know what that word is. Through the lathe? But if you want to dig up the soft dirt mounds around the island, that shovel will do the trick. Oh, excuse me, I just ate McDonald's and I'm like... Burping, hacking up a lung. <laughs> I'm just disgusting. <laughs> uh, see, spirits, I have helped this poor scout. My haunting is complete. Uh, no, you're not. <laughs> I'm still here, aren't I? Yeah. Darn it. <laughs> One flimsy shovel isn't going to do it. Of course not. Listen! Why are you trying to leave me? Well, don't worry. I'm full of ideas for tools. I'll give you all the help you need to stay in, stay cozy in the grove. I just like, I legit just like want to get a homestead and like have it be haunted by like helpful undead bears. Are they undead if they're ghosts? I don't know how that works. Um, anyways, moving on. <laughs> Hope that shovel works out. Oh, and I have, and have a spirit log too. Okay, so this is how we get spirit logs. Got it. <clears throat> Um, can I, uh, please? Oh, they run away from me and it makes me so sad. Give me your hands. What's in here? Oh, it's a chair. Can I pick these rocks? No. Um, can I connect up with the Oh, hi. <laughs> You're super cute. I love you. Oh wow. Guys. I'm I'm not getting sidetracked. You're getting sidetracked. Guys. <laughs> oh, get over here. <coughs> Who's me? What would you like to do? All right. Um, here's a log for you. Oh, I love it when the lights flip like that. Well done, my light is expanding again. I now see an old friend. Mr. Kit has noticed our beacon and set up his canteen shop. Wait, an old friend? So this fire knows about this island. Oh wait, was the fire here before we were? Uh, uh huh, he looks quite at home here. But wait, there's more. I see a strange and salty figure standing on the shore. And he is... And as he arrives, something else has vanished. Something important. Oh dear. Best go see for yourself. Uh-oh. He took the boat, didn't he? Oh no. Not the boat! No! Ah <laughs> No! Oh boy. Well, I guess we're here for good now. Oh, can I have all of these? Oh. Hello? What would you like to do? Sometimes you can find things on this island simply by exploring with a keen eye. Oh, we're fucked. <laughs> there is no such thing as a keen eye for this girl, this deco. Yes. <laughs> but other times, you need to get your hands dirty. Have you noticed those leaf piles lying around? Try digging through those, and when you come across them, you'll be surprised what you find. Just the other day, I, th I thought I saw an old book peeking out of the leaves. Oh. 
Okay. I know I'm gonna be apologizing a lot for coughing and hacking and sneezing and all of you are probably sitting here like, just stop talking. I'll, I, I'll buy your stuff. I swear to God I can read English. I swear I can. Sometimes. I know you probably want me to talk to that fox, but I'm also really... Like, I just want to explore. <laughs> like, I want to find, like, all leaf piles and all the things I can dig up. And I'm just like, I want to find all the things! My hello, hello there, Fox Bishop Stopper. I must confess, when I followed your fire, I never expected to end up here again. Oh my god, he's got... Is that a mouse or a rat? And my cats are knocking everything I own over. It's fine. The island's fallen into quite a state since my last visit. But how rude of me. I haven't properly introduced myself. You may call me Mr. Kit. I know your name, of course. But I am far too polite to repeat it. Um. Okay. I have a standing agreement with spirit scouts, you know. Wherever you go, Kit's Canteen shall be there for all your buying and selling needs. The only catch? I set the prices. Uh. Okay. Let's see what you got, then. Oh, heck yeah. How much? Do I have enough? I got 42, I think. Away from my computer. This is the other reason I don't record. I'm surrounded by cats. Who all want to stick their nose in my stuff. I really hope that, like, this isn't like Animal Crossing where, like, eventually I'm going to run out of stuff to do and have to, like, wait for the next day. Because that would really suck. How do you tell what anything is? I can't even be mad at you for taking my boat. In life, I was a barrow, the sea. I sped from Cozy Grove to the main and back again a hundred times over. Unnatural, some said, for a bear to fly twixt the waves as I did. But did I listen? No, I did not. Oh my gosh, I love his little boat, Dico! Oh. And now I am transformed. A vast young person. How long have you been standing there? You caught me off guard reciting my origins. I'm Captain Bill Weather Snout. Uh, though some now call me the Seagull Bear. Um, I mean, pleased to meet you. <laughs> I don't know, as we've reached a first name basis, young sailor. Captain will do. It's a strange thing to be a seagull bear. My two halves have precious little in common. Except, of course, a love of fish. I, too, love fish. Speaking of, are you hungry, sa young sailor? Fetch me a fishing rod and I'll show you what's on the menu. I already got you one. That will do nicely. Man, I just bought that! Ah! Well, what are you waiting for? If ye f want to find us a proper meal, you're going to have to pluck it from the deep yourself. Take that wat rod and catch us a whopper. Um, uh, uh, okay. Well, why am I still able to talk to you? Select your fishing rod and remove. I'll figure it out, I guess. I, you can tell I obviously didn't pay attention. Oh, hi. 
Um, great. Um, oh, goodness. I probably shouldn't. Hello? I'm just trying to use my fishing rod. Uh, back. Fishing rod and phone above your head and release the cat. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, leather skin. Oh my gosh, it looks. Um, uh, that, no, there they go again. Okay. Yes, it's true. Cats do knock all your stuff over. Quit teasing me, fish. Come on. Okay. Uh, yeah, go up, go on, get, yay. Alrighty. Oh my god, an ugly loaf! <laughs> oh, that is so rude. I guess the game probably realized I did not read what that guy said at all. <laughs> read? I am not here to read. I'm here to lead, not to read. Oh, it's ringing. <gasps> Yay! Okay, there we go. How much inventory space do I have? Ah, fine, uh, fine, uh, fine, Finn, you managed to dredge up their good eating. I think ye and I will have plenty of time for fishing. Now that your boat's washed out to sea. My boat did what? Oh, yes. A noose, loose knot, and a fickle tide. That was all it took to send your vessel on its merry way. Bitch, I know you untied my boat! Don't blame yourself. This island's a maelstrom for ill fortunes churned by our wretched tales of ghostly woman. Until we spirits find a measure of peace, none may leave this place. Liar, you untied my boat. I know you did it. It wasn't missing until you showed up, you little shit. So, young sailor, though you're, you're a living scout and I'm a ghost, we have something in common. We're both stranded here on Cozy Grove. <sighs> Whatever plans ye had of solving all our ghostly problems in a single evening, put them out of your mind. We bears aren't your overnight project anymore. We're your neighbors. <laughs> Whatever that thing is, is adorable. Is that the previous scout? Like, is she... Hi. Okay, bye. Oh, coin. I don't want to, like, knock the sandcastle over, but I want to, like, explore it. Hello? Wait. Wait, that, that, that. Uh, and... Oh, I've got peaches. I forgot about that. You know, peaches are like my favorite fruit. Can I not pick this up? Can I pick this up? What about this? What about this? What about this? 
Is it this one? I love this. Why does this look like stuff I can pick up, but I can't actually pick it up? Okay, all of you are grounded. Shoot! Darn cats. Oh, wait. Should be able to pick that up. Yeah, okay. Um, I figured it out. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I'm sorry. I'm so incompetent. <laughs> um... I think we're gonna try and find the five logs and then well I don't know I don't know how long this is going already but I... wow did I find the book no not yet <coughs> hmm, delicious hmm that's strange I'm still hungry I think one more spirit log should do it, though. I sense someone has a log and they're eager to give it to you if you can help them. I mean, I'll, I'll help anybody, man. Um, uh, <laughs> I could probably walk past this other person that I was supposed to help so many times. Oh, er, stuck on trees and... Hi, little people. Well, I thought that they were going to be in the gray area. Is there more leaves that I just don't know about because I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I'm guessing the bear is the last one that wants help. Um, let's do these real quick. Correct. <laughs> bear necessities. <laughs> It's the bare necessities. It's the bare necessities. Oh, I'm gonna get copyright strike. If I'm not careful. That costs too much to demonetize anyway. <laughs> Hello? I really hate that that icon keeps popping up over my head. It's like, it makes me think that there's something I can do, but there isn't. Is there something behind the shop? Oh, great. Um, Oh, I see now. Oh my goodness. Ah, I can't believe I spent a hundred coins on that. There we go. My inventory doesn't get full. I'm sorry, I just didn't feel like reading this. Alright, I'll hold on to this book and use it to track your progress, helping the spirits of Cozy Brew. Would you like to look at the Memento Collection book now? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, fantastic. Ah, uh, thank you. Can I move, please? Thank, thank you. Can he work? So hungry. <laughs> ah, another healthy dose of positive spirit energy. You're doing well, young scout. The more health these ghosts 
the, the more you help these ghosts, so I'm also dyslexic and I'm trying to do, uh, the more they will remember. It may go slowly at first, but trust and understanding is not a thing you can manufacture quickly. Help these bears guide them through remembering themselves. Eventually they will find peace. Uh, my light shines further, illuminates lost corners behind. I see another figure absorbed finding and delivering lost things to everyone but himself. You two have that in common, I think. Oh yeah? Jeez, how exciting this beer is. It's making me tired. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to call it quits for tonight just so that this doesn't end up running too long. But I will definitely be playing more in the future. And in the meantime, I love your faces. I hope y'all have a good day, a good night, a good afternoon, whatever you're doing. And I'll see you later.